How many death threats have you had? Three. Three death threats. <laughs> what do you think about? <laughs> One was from Steve Hoffmeyer, who coincidentally got caught watching uh, after boycotting DSTV. Got caught watching the World Cup. He did he? Yes, what with a, a picture prick. of him watching the World Cup uh, rugby on DSTV. What a fucker. Uh, you but, guys used to be friendly. How did that thing escalate into? Fuck. Uh, no, I just worked with him. I worked. I worked on his. I was interviewed on his show once or twice. Here we go. Uh, yeah. uh, so just go from yeah. So so Steve and I we had a professional kind of relationship, and I liked how professional he was. He was yeah. very hardworking, punctual, professional. You know, whatever. His shows had the best gear. Uh, and we spoke a lot, and I, I would assume that he read because he was always talking about references. Um, this is before I truly understood the depth of propaganda, and uh, and um, and then he started making sweeping statements like, you know, you don't see white families climbing over fences to kill black families. I'm like, okay, but Steve, that's fucking fundamentally not true. That is the basis of the 80s and the 70s. And um, actually, that is exactly. This wasn't families. It was just, you know, uniformed fucking mandated officers. Um, and then he said that black people were the architects of apartheid. I mean. How fucking, like, get fucked, dude. Whatever you say after that, nobody gives a fuck. So, so like, you're an idiot. And and, and so, then it just kept on going. Yeah, and then he kept saying sh shit and, like, provoking people. He started this, like, Red October fucking stupid thing. And, you know, then AFRI... Um, AFRI they, Forum. Uh, AFRI Forum, he got involved with them. And then there's a thing called... Um, I think it's called AFRI Check. Yeah. And, and they actually check stats. And, 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 you know, he gave all these statistics on his website. And they're all bullshit. Yeah. So I wrote a long letter in a, on a platform that I, I had. Um, I was part of the Mail and Guardian Thought Leaders for quite a long time. So I wrote this open letter. It's just got an enormous amount of readers. And then he published a picture of me on his website where I had my hand up, but he'd written on my hand, I hate Afrikaners. Wow. And, um, and so immediately I knew that that was a constitutional win. Like, I would yeah. definitely, like, it's just, it's a crime. Because basically, he's now faked my picture yeah. to incite hatred Hate against hatred. me. Yeah. So I just sent him a lawyer's letter and immediately was taken down. I, I just want to say, Steve, actually, yell it again, Afrikaans, do not your very show, come on, can you say Ned Vajevo? Just open it up for you Steve. You really can, come. Steve, you know why? Come, Steve, because I'd love everyone, the traffic. <laughs> unlike you, man, I say everyone has a right to a voice. So even you, even you, in your failing, fuzzy logic, Fucked up, failed pop musician, dropping sales, banned from any kind of important public platform, bust watching DSTV after your principled stand. You have like no credibility. But Alfred is a Democrat and Hello, he's, gonna, Steve. he's gonna give you a voice. So fucking Come take on the, the chance, show. bro. I'll it's come the pick you only up place in Pretoria. Where you'll get a chance to talk. When Dude, the crazy thing about Steve Hoffmeyer is that we grew up idolizing him. Even in the in my community, because yeah. he was Bruce Bayers in After Elke Man, and yes. TV played a huge role in our lives. Yeah, so so you you didn't grow up idolizing Steve Hoffman. You grew up idolizing TV stars, and yeah. then that's okay. Because and then you realize, oh man, I met a lot of TV stars, and most of them have been nice people, thankfully. Most but performers some... are in this country because you can't be big enough to be self-important. Yeah.